What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on Marlin stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you that uh, since I made my previous video, I've received a lot of uh, hate and a lot of negative comments uh, in the comment section on the video. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. Uh, I made my previous video right here and I've told you that we have to have a bounce right after we completed uh, the 5 wave structure inside the C wave and if it is the case uh, from the technical standpoint we should have a bounce but on the other hand we have a lot of bearish pressure from the fundamental standpoint on this asset and definitely one of the main bearish factors is the Hindenburg Research uh, short seller report and C executives of Malin Automotive uh, didn't answer on this uh, report yet and uh, we have uh, one month since it was published but uh, from the officials we don't have any information at all but let me show you some good news that uh, they published uh, recently first of all they published uh, on May the 3rd uh, this news that Malin Automotive files US Department of Energy ATVM loan application for Malin 1 EV cargo van program and let me show you this in details the application was filed on April 29th and let me quote you Mr. David Mishri. We are proud to announce the submission of our ATVM loan application for the Malin 1 EV cargo van program. We began our ATVM loan journey in 2019 and the DOE has been following our progress since then. I want to thank the entire Malin Automotive team for working diligently on this submission. I also want to thank the DOE for their continued uh, support uh, of our initiative uh, to put Americans back to work. This is a huge milestone for us with many more to follow. And on the one hand definitely it is a very good sign. But on the other hand uh, we don't have uh, the approval itself, it is just an application. And let me show you that uh, the total amount of this application might be up to 450 million dollars and we are on uh, their official press release from uh, February 14th 2022. And uh, this amount uh, is quite significant amount, amount for such a small company and uh, it might be enough uh, to start the production of their EV cargo vans. On top of that let me show you that uh, uh, right here on May the 4th they posted this. Mullen will embark on a 19-city US strikingly different tour for the Mullen 5 EV crossover. And let me quote you this. Over the course of uh, six weeks starting in October, Mullen will embark on the 19-city test drive uh, tour across the US. Mullen will conduct a two-day event in each city for reservation holders uh, to test uh, drive and experience the Mullen 5 in person. As the test drives uh, will be conducted on closed circuits uh, or racetracks, uh, the event will be limited to a set number of drivers per day. The tour will start uh, in Mullen's uh, home base, Southern California, and will cover major US cities, including following. And here is the list of these cities. Definitely, it is a very good sign from the marketing perspective, but from the fundamental standpoint, we don't have any mentions about the start of their deliveries. And definitely, I have to say that uh, we have a lot of uh, promises from C executives, uh, and uh, we have a lack of real news. And let me show you this article on Investor Place that was published just several hours ago and it says Marlin Automotive can't meet its promises and let me quote you just uh, bullets of uh, this uh, article Marlin Automotive uh, is short on cash uh, and big on promises short sellers uh, have targeted the stock with a devastating report please don't waste your money and I have to say that uh, I agree with this uh, statement with this uh, article and you can uh, read it by yourself and uh, you can uh, make your own uh, conclusion about this company but let me show you my recent uh, video and I posted it on May the 1st and let me quote you this comment if you are following this guy just be aware that he gave you a video that fired off negative after negative point regarding Malin and then completely neglected to mention their battery testing results are set to come out very soon their earnings report is coming soon and there will be announcing their fortune 500 partnership soon so let's pause right here 
they will, they will, they will. And uh, they don't have uh, these results yet. And uh, I covered uh, this uh, news uh, in one of my previous video. And I've told you that uh, the results of uh, their battery by itself is not so important. We have to see the results uh, on the actual vehicle. Only these results uh, will show you the real range that this vehicle might achieve. So, let's continue. They also do have job listings currently out. This guy just seems uh, to think LinkedIn is the only place you post job listings. And I have zero idea what that uh, is all about, other than uh, sheer ignorance. And let me show you that uh, for now, Malin Automotive uh, has only six jobs that uh, is published uh, on Indeed.com. And I have to say that uh, just a couple of them was posted recently. One of them was posted seven days ago. And right here we have position that was published uh, three days ago. Other was posted more than 30 days ago. And I don't think that uh, they are currently on the table. So, with all this information, I have to say that uh, you should stay aside from any trades uh, from the fundamental standpoint with this asset. And I know that I will uh, have a lot of uh, hate uh, from uh, viewers, but I have to say that my main goal is not to shield any stocks, but to give you the most useful information related to different assets. And in my opinion, Malin is not the company that you should uh, put your money in for the long period of time. That's why. Uh, let's continue with the technical analysis, uh, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, on my previous video, I've told you that uh, we might have a bounce because uh, right after we have, right after the asset has a huge uh, sell-off, definitely we should have unload all the indicators. But with this lack of volume, as you can see from the end of April till the beginning of May, we have uh, the lowest volume so far. Uh, that uh, is, uh, I think that is lower than uh, we had even on February. February. And this means uh, this sideways movement slowly but surely unloaded all the indicators. As you can see on hourly time frame, we are pretty much neutral with RSI and we are neutral with MACD. On uh, three hours time frame, we are also pretty much neutral. And right here we have even a hidden bearish divergence. We have uh, higher highs on RSI with, uh, let me show you, with the lower highs on the price section. And definitely it is not the best sign from the uh, technical standpoint because uh, we have uh, more chances to hit uh, lower prices with this asset. And from the fundamental standpoint, uh, a lot of uh, signs uh, shows me that uh, we might have uh, this movement to the downside. But on the short term perspective, definitely we might see some bounces. And these bounces uh, might happen in upcoming uh, sessions because of their results uh, from the testing of uh, their batteries. And I have to say that uh, this movement uh, shouldn't be massive and shouldn't be for the long term and that's why just be cautious with this asset and stay aside if you don't uh, know how to handle this movement and how you can uh, benefit uh, from the sideways action. So I think uh, from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the